Okay, this is order of operations part two. Today we're gonna to be solving order of operations problems, but problems that have integers. Okay, so we've already gone through PEMDAS, the steps of the order of operations, and we've solved regular problems using these steps, but now we're going to do the same thing, but we're gonna have some negative numbers involved. So you do need your notes. Make sure you pause the video when necessary so that you can stay caught up. Okay, first, remember, when combining integers, if the signs are the same, then you add them up. If the signs are different, then you need to subtract, and then use the sign of whoever has more. If there's more negatives, then your answer would be negative. If there's more positives, then your answer would be positive. And then when multiplying and dividing integers, if you're multiplying or dividing two integers, if they have the same signs, your answer is positive. If the signs are different, then your answer is negative. And remember we talked about the three different tricks. Uh, there was the triangle, we have a positive, and the negatives. The tic-tac-toe, where one of the diagonals was positive, everything else was negative. And then the faces. If he's wide awake and he's happy in a good mood, he's positive. If he's sleeping, his eyes are the same, they're closed, but he's having a good dream, then he's positive. But if he got into a fight and one eye is open, one eye is closed, then he's not going to be in a good mood. He'll be negative. So you'll need, we'll need to remember these as we're going through these problems. Okay, let's get straight to it. Negative 2 plus 9 times 10. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is write PEMDAS, P, E for exponents. Multiplication and division is the same step, going from left to right, and addition and subtraction is the same step, going from left to right. We're going to do one step at a time. So in my problem, this is not a subtraction problem, it's a negative symbol. It is inside parentheses, but is this a group? No, it's just, hey, look at me, I'm negative. So this is not a true P parentheses or grouping symbol. We have an addition and we have multiplication, no exponents. So we go straight to the multiplication and division. And there's just one multiplication, nine times 10. So I'm gonna underline it, or you could highlight it if you want, and solve it. Nine times 10 is 90. Whatever's not underlined or not highlighted, you bring down, plus and the negative two. Because it is negative, I do like to keep it in the parentheses because I like for it to tell me it really pops out that it's negative when it's like that. Okay, the next operation is just your addition. So I'm going to underline it. This is the next step. The signs are different. If the signs are different, then we have to subtract. So 90 minus 2 is 88. Now, are there more positives or are there more negatives? There's more positives. So the answer is a positive 88. Going down. Here we go, any parentheses. There is a parentheses, but is this a grouping symbol? No, this is a, hey, look at me, I'm negative. So no P's, go down to E for exponent. Do we have exponents? Sure do. Two squared is two times two, which is four. Bring down everything else, times negative nine minus nine. Okay, we're done with exponents. Move to multiplication and division, left to right. And I see a multiplication, so I'm gonna underline it. 4 times negative 9, I know 4 times 9 is 36, and the signs are different, so it's going to be a negative 36. Use your trick if you need to. Bring down the minus 9, and now we have a subtraction. We have a negative 36 and a negative 9. Remember, circle them, circle the integers and their signs, and you'll see that the signs are the same. If they're the same, what do you do? Add them up. 36 plus 9 is 45, and because they're both negative, the answer is negative. So the answer is negative 45. Next example. Okay, any parentheses? Sure, right here. But this is not a true group. This is just a, hey, look at me, I'm negative 5. Minus, and what do these straight lines mean? Remember, they mean absolute value. We talked about this when we talked about the different symbols, grouping symbols, and we said absolute value is one of them. 
So this would be considered a P, a parenthesis. It's a grouping symbol. So we need to solve it first. What is the absolute value of negative 3? Remember, absolute value means the distance from 0 on a number line. So if this is my 0, my negative 3 would be right here. What is the distance? How many units? It's 3. Remember, distance is always positive. So this is a positive 3, or just 3. Anything that's not highlighted or underlined, we bring straight down. So I'll bring down my negative 5 minus I already solved the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Bring down my times 4. Okay, there are no other grouping symbols, so we move on to exponents. There are no exponents, so multiplication and division from left to right. I'm going to start on my left, I'm going to go to my right, and I do see a 3 times 4. So I'm going to solve that first. 3 times 4 is 12. I'll bring everything else down, bring down the negative 5, bring down the minus. And now we just have subtraction. So we're going to solve. I'm going to circle each integer and their signs. I have a negative 5 and a negative 12. The signs are the same. If the signs are the same, add them up. So 5 plus 12 is 17. They're both negative. You keep the negative. So the answer is negative 17. Next example. Ooh, this one looks like there's a lot of work involved. Okay, let's go ahead and go through parentheses. I have parentheses right here. And I have multiple operations inside the parentheses. I have an addition and I have an exponent. So I have to use PEMDAS inside the parentheses. And it says to do the exponent first. So remember, 4 squared is not 4 times 2. It's 4 repeated 2 times. 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm going to replace the 4 squared with 16. I'm going to bring down everything else. Negative 3, parentheses, 9, plus, close my parentheses, there's the 16, minus negative 5. I'm not done with this parentheses. I now need to add. So that's my next step. I underline it. 9 plus 16 is 25. So now I have negative 3. And what does it mean when you have a number touching parentheses with no symbol in between? It means multiplication, right? So you could put a multiplication symbol here, or the mathematician way would be to keep it in parentheses. Then bring down the minus a negative 5. Okay, I do have two parentheses still here, but these are not grouping symbols. You're not making a group with a 25, it's just a 25. You're not making a group with a negative 5, it's just a negative 5. So I'm done with my parentheses. Do I have any more exponents? No. Now we're ready for multiplication and division, left to right. And we just talked about this and said that this was multiplication. So I'm going to multiply. 3 times 25 is 75. And it's a negative times a positive, which makes it a negative 75. Bring down everything else, minus a negative 5. And my last operation is going to be the subtraction. Now, we're subtracting a negative 5. Do you remember about double negatives? Remember, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So the opposite of a negative 5 is a positive 5. Or our little trick is when you have a double negative, you turn it into a big positive. So now we have a negative 75 and we have a positive 5. If the signs are different, then subtract. So 75 minus 5 is 70. We go to war. Who has more? Are there more negatives or are there more positives? There are more negatives, so the answer is negative. So negative 70 is your final answer.